everyone, here we are with ticker symbol DKNG, DraftKings Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, very volatile day here. We had DKNG actually start to fall, look like it was going to hit newer lows and actually hit newer support levels. And then there was a quick recovery by the bulls actually getting back over the 50 day moving average. And I remember stating in yesterday's video, an important number here was 440, as I was mentioning it, as a point of reference. I believe it was 440, 439, give or take, that I had stated it was a low point that if that got broken through, this could start to hit newer lows and reach newer support levels. But if we zoom in here, we could see that the lowest point of the day was actually 41.72. So nowhere near it, but there was a turnaround from there and could the bulls maintain this momentum? So let's move our supports and resistance to their new locations and let's see what is important for tomorrow. Super important numbers here are the 50 day moving average. Obviously the 50 day moving average is 44.54. I'd write that number down. It's not letting me get exactly on it. Let's see if I can land on it through here by zooming in. 44.54. Write that number down. As long as we're below it, the bears are in control. And as long as we're above it, the bulls are in control. The tug of war is going to be interesting tomorrow because right now the bulls have slightly crossed it. It's at 44.62. Super important numbers to keep in mind and pay very close attention to as this plays out. So our resistance level for the bulls to continue this momentum and pull further away from the 50 day moving average is 44.96. If the bulls can turn 44.96 into a support and start to break away to newer highs and newer resistance levels, it will be an opportunity for the bulls to go ahead and dominate the chart and get further into bullish territory. So by doing that, they will pull away from the 50 day moving average, getting deeper into bullish territory and confirming by turning 4496 into a support testing it improving it and breaking away from it that the bulls are gaining control and they can continue this rally and this momentum now that's one side of the picture for the bulls on the other hand we have what the bears want and the bears are going to want to break through the lowest point before this bullish run began and continued and that is 4222 if the bears are able to do this they broke through the 50 day moving average, getting back into bearish territory. And by breaking through 42.22, they're just pulling it further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction. So I'd pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting as it gets closer to 42.22 and how quickly is it hitting newer lows? And is it actually working its way down or are the bulls even trying to reappear? So I hope that with these cues, you guys are well equipped for tomorrow's trading day. And as always, if you feel encouraged or inclined to subscribe, please do so. Don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates what happens on those scheduled dates which are the dates that are circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves well the s p 500 index rises up several points and by doing so they're bringing up several ticker symbols not all of them but most of them up with them and these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to three dollars per share and i know it doesn't sound like a lot but per share that does add up and one thing i am really big on is profits if you put a dollar into the market and you get out with two dollars you've made profits you've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses and with the federal reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates bringing the s p 500 index up also brings up individual ticker symbols with them and again 30 cents to three dollars may not sound like a lot of profit per share but that does add up and like i say profits are profits so we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what i talk about in the video and it's a weekly series i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it 
definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out but here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pump so the first one since the last time that they had released this they released this on september 14th and the next one's coming up on october 14th which is like a week from now and on the 15th they scheduled it and as you can see this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up so on the 14th we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20 i mean that's 40 points risen on the s p 500 index and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to three dollars we're going to look at another one here and the next one was on september 22nd and here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd so this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick and we were at 3270 this one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst form beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped now not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself because if we look at the previous notes that i did beforehand it was actually rising up with it the volatility was there but you were able to buy like for example how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up well it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down beforehand you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you were going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the sixth which on the fifth it started to rise it leveled off this is the last candlestick of the fifth coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the sixth it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still having the market rise up and even though the s p 500 index is rising several points there are individual ticker symbols rising up like i said 30 cents to three dollars check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money